New research reveals low exposure to the sun's UVB rays may increase your risk of colorectal cancer. The study looked at global levels of UVB light in 2017 and rates of colorectal cancer the following year in 186 countries. It showed lower UVB exposure was significantly linked with higher rates of cancer across all age groups, but especially in people over 45. Experts suggest low UVB exposure may lead to a deficiency of vitamin D, which has been associated with an increase increased risk of colorectal cancer. Pope Francis is said to be doing well after surgery yesterday to remove a half of his colon. The Vatican says he's breathing on his own after having part of his colon removed due to diverticulitis, a common inflammation among the elderly. This is the first time the 84-year-old Pope has been hospitalized since his election in 2013. The Vatican says it should take about seven days for Pope Francis to recover. A new report shows the price of common prescription drugs vary widely across hospitals and are much higher than pharmacy costs. Researchers from GoodRx looked at price caps for a dozen medicines from 16 U.S. hospitals. For example, the price of one tablet of generic Zoloft ranged from $57 at one Las Vegas hospital to 50 cents at a West Virginia hospital. Overall, hospital priced generic drugs as much as 6,000% higher than the average pharmacy. A new study shows the overwhelming majority of Americans were not prepared during their early stages of the pandemic. Medical experts had stressed the importance of having a plan in case of a positive test, like notifying close contacts, having a place to isolate, and protecting family members. But 96% of healthy, educated adults surveyed by the University of Houston said they did not have a comprehensive plan in mind. 62% didn't have a plan at all. A new study suggests that lottery-based incentives to boost vaccination rates don't work. Researchers looked at vaccination rates in Ohio before and after the implementation of the state's Vaximillion lottery-based system. They used CDC data to compare the rates to other states that did not have vaccine incentive lottery programs. The scientists found the Vaximillion did not lead to an increase in vaccinations. The study authors say they hope their findings will lead to a shift to an investment in programs that can target vaccine hesitancy. Now here's summer with a last look at your forecast summer. Rain will be building in later on tonight, so let's take another look at how much rain is expected across the valley. Areas that you see shaded in green likely to receive around a half an inch to an inch. Areas in yellow and even a few oranges down along the North Dakota, South Dakota border, potentially up to some areas of two inches or more of precipitation, likely less than a half an inch across the extreme northern valley. And if you miss out on this chance of rain, there is more in the forecast, especially Thursday night and into the first part of Friday. Another batch of some potentially widespread showers and thunderstorms. Temperatures, though, the next several days are only going to be in the 70s. A big change from the 90s we uh, got used to over the weekend. We're looking at 80s by next weekend. All right. Thanks so much, Summer. Thank you for joining us. Hope you're enjoying the holiday. Have a great evening.